What's up guys, it's the Dank here. Um, we're going to kick off our YouTube channel by giving you our first series. We're, we're going to um, we're going to record some F1 manager. We're going to do a playthrough. We're going to pick a team and hopefully we, we have a bunch of fun doing it. So let's, let's start a new career. I mean, I have been playing as Williams, which has, has been very hard. I like to... I like to pick the teams right at the bottom of the pile to you know, make it a big challenge. Um, but Williams was um, <laughs> always called like how many points? One point in like six or seven races. So it is hard. Uh, we are going to start a new career though. We're going to overwrite this one and we're going to pick a team. Formula One, the pinnacle of motorsport. Oh, With a global good. audience and drama to match, all the attention is now on race circuits around the world. Waiting for the start of the okay. fastest show on earth. Last year's regulation changes saw closer on track battles. Anyone yes, expecting I a like smooth ride a from the 2023 season is in for a shock. With a shake up in the paddock, resulting in the this signing of several shocking. new team principals, F1 is primed and ready to light up the world stage. Team principals will already be talking tactics, boosting the confidence of their drivers, mm -hmm. and ensuring their pit crews make those box times as tight as possible. With a yes, new era of racing far. now well underway, more teams than ever will be vying for points, podiums, and a chance at the championship. Amazing, I remember all of these this clips from it last year. This is Formula One. Great, I love it. So, okay, let's skip this. Um, Red Bull took I, the F1 world by storm in 2022, I do have an defending idea their drivers' we'll championship go title. We're going to go with Aston, Aston Martin. Martin ended the and we're going to sack Lance Stroll as soon as possible. Place, <laughs> <although six laughs> That's what we're going to do. We're going to swap Lance Stroll out for a decent driver. So, and state of the art facilities we this year have could a team be their chance to shine. To They've Holy traded crap. one multiple championship like, winning driver for. Look at the difference. There's like half a star. 2020. But anyway. So let's go with Aston Martin. We're going to go with Aston Martin. We're going to go with Le. Oh, whoops, not me. Le. Dank. Le Dank. If I can, if I can do it. Le Dank. We'll leave everything to standard. Um, we'll go on to. Don't need guidance, do we? So let's go as Aston Martin, I think. So what we got here? Okay, so we've got racing a couple of days, we've got the cars. Um, where's the facilities? Um, we can actually do some upgrades before we go into a race. So we'll do some car part developments, uh, design and research. Let's design a brand new car part. So we do want a chassis, do we want newer side pods? I reckon we go for an underfloor first. Uh, so we could put, should we put three MAU hours into it? We'll put half of the time into it. We do want the, the underfloor to be decent to start with because that's how we're going to get a good, good jump start on the season. So we'll go to next. High speed performance. Optimized aerodynamics. What do you want? Let's go for like high speed performance on this one. On this floor. Five engineers. Intense. So, we're ready in 31 days. Oh God, it's going to cost four, 4.35 mil. So, an underfloor. Um, should we generate? What else should we do here? Should we do side pods to work with the underfloor? That seems like a good idea. Let's do the side pods as well. Put three hours into that. We can just go max here. 40 wind tunnel hours on it. Race performance. Let's do that. I 
intense again. Let's go three mil, continue. So these should be done, um, hopefully. Where would they be done by? Would it be Australia, maybe? Cool, either way. So that's, I don't think we've got much else to do here. First day, it's our first day, yes. Um, let's jump to the race weekend. Driver development upgrade, uh, update. Complete report on the drivers have been developing during the past month. Please see the results attached. Of course, each driver will have their own strengths and weaknesses. If you notice any particular area that you think the driver should work on, you may wish to change their development focus. Okay. Bahrain testing results. Low speed first, third, third. Oh man, we've got a good chance here. We don't really care about. And I'm sure everyone's going to be replaced at some point. So, it's training schedule. These guys are not sleeping. Pit stop drill. Pit stop drill. Let's get these guys working. So let's work on new tyres on. Confirm changes, yes. These guys have uh, have other times to rest. So let's go to the weekend. What have we got now? Right. Let's get race prep done. Review performance targets. So what where do you think do should we should get to Q3. I mean if we're third on the grid we should get Q3. Edit what's this finish position sixth, that should be okay. Qualifying position streak eighth. Let's go. Let's go and do our first race in the series. Bahrain. A very warm welcome to you all. It sure does feel good to be back. Do we watch these cutscenes? I think we do. Yeah, let's As let's we watch start the a brand new season, the slate is wiped clean. And all 20 drivers prepare to make an instant impact ahead of an exciting year. Bahrain might have a small land footprint, but it's showing its big spirit right now in the grandstands. Either way, it's time for another fantastic weekend of Grand Prix racing. There's now a rookie on the McLaren team, which is both an opportunity and a challenge. Now let's get the weekend underway. <clears throat> okay. That's finished. So right, so we've got P1, P2, but P3 on Saturday, right? Okay, so let's let's go and manage. We'll manage practice one, yes. To put our own tune on the car, we don't want the AI doing it. So we'll send these guys out. Send out. Man, I like the look of this Aston Martin so much. I love the green. It doesn't look as shiny in this game though. I feel like it's got like a lot of glossy green to it. It's a bit darker too in real life, I think. So anyway, let's get some running done. Um, see what kind of lap times we're getting, see what we can improve on the car. Oh my god. Joe Granu with the second place. Giannacci, okay. I don't know how to say his name. I probably said it wrong. Apologies if I did. So we're at two out of five so far. We haven't done any push laps and we're up there in the top five at the moment. What tires did everyone on? Soft, soft, soft. We're on the hards as well. you got to think about that. To run hard tyres, just trying to get a feel for, for what the car's like, what needs upgrading on it. Just being beaten by Verstappen, what's he on? Verstappen, he is on some softs as well. So, in the second, yeah, here we are. Any thoughts on set of options? Yeah, I don't know if I can improve anyway, so. So, we'll call okay. him in, we'll do some upgrades. I mean, not upgrades, tuning on the car. So let's reconfigure the car. So here we've got front wing angle, and 
With this, I found out by playing the game, you just get like an even balance of each of each one until it's optimal. And it's a bit easier to do in this game over um, F1 Manager 22 because it actually it narrows it down when you get to optimal. It's like almost like the last game was like broken. So the first thing I do is I adjust the rear wing angle. So we'll put it somewhere around there. Uh, we need to try and get all of these within the middle. I mean, go from there really. So we'll put brake stability there. We're still. So we'll do that. We'll shove a set of softs on. See what lap times we can get. So whilst, whilst doing that, Lance Stroll is. Oh, he's already done his apparently. So we'll call Stroll in too. We'll do a quick upgrade in his car. Oh crap, I keep saying upgrade. It's not upgrade, man. <laughs> Tuning, setup change. That's what we need to do. Get that up there. So how much we're moving these around we don't want any of them to slip out of where they are now so that looks okay we'll put a set of soft tires on we'll confirm that we're getting back out so we'll send Fernando back up get Fernando out Stroll should be done in a second so I'm not sure whether I should do a set change again it depends on how they're feeling about the car However, we'll just let them out on the track now and do some running. So we'll put them on deploy and see if we can get some fastest lap times. Alonso in third, that's not bad at all. Gasly in second, that's a surprise. No energy. No energy. Okay. Neutral, same with Nando, so we don't get the same. Oh, there we go, P1 and 2 together with the toe. Nice. So let's let's fast forward on again. Um, I'm, now we just need to literally wait and see what the, um, the setup changes are going to be like. It's going to be tough when it comes to qualifying. It always is in this game. I can never get my finger around qualifying. Depending on how on how close we get the setup change to how the drivers like it, depending on if we manage like practice three. I always seem to manage practice two, unless I get it right straight away. So we'll see how we get along here. We're about to find out. What's your thoughts on coming in or doing any more? What's your thoughts? Good. Yeah, copy of Fernando. So the setup's good. See what Lance Stroll is like with his. Lance is putting in some killer lap times. Where's Verstappen? He's on the mediums right now. It would be his time on the softs, of course. Balance check, Lance. Balance check. Yeah, it's okay. It's good. It's good. Copy. Lance, Lance is is good. So right, let's fast forward to the end of the session. We'll get let these guys get some track knowledge. I'll say that Fernando's just coming. Let's see exactly. Okay, so here we go. So na things are now narrowed down a bit. So we need to bring the wing balance down a bit. So we'll stick that around there. Tire camber. We'll put here. What about the brakes though? There we go. We can move the brakes into the middle. So a bit more brake balance. There we go. Do we do like the wing angle a bit more? Let's try that. Stick them on the same tyres. I mean, the session might be over by the time. But... Right, Fernando should be coming. I mean, Stroll should be coming back in in a second. So we'll see what he wants. So yeah, same again. The rear wing angle needs to come back down. We need to. So that front wing there should be optimal now. Great balance down here a bit. Roll. That'll do for now. So we'll put the tires on, confirm. So ideally we should have this setup done by Hofi FP2, first practice two. 
hopefully we'll have it all done by then. So we'll send Fernando out again, see if he can get any better times than what he did. So you one foot two eight. So Stroll's ready to send back out. Just keep an eye on the sectors. So uh, yellow sectors. But the tires are rolled and as good as, as to what they were when we first put them on. So we've come to the end of the session now, end of FP1. First practice one. That's it. So yeah, we'll just quickly fast forward this on a little bit. That's done, heading to garage, everyone's finished, on to next. And we get the fastest lap in FP FP1 first practice one. Let's continue. We're going to go to FP2 now. And we're going to go to the practice 2. So we're going to manage this as well. So let's send these two straight back out. Green light, green light. Yes, we got the green light with the green car. Let's go. Yeah, let's speed this up again, let's get there. Let's get them used to the car, used to the track, used to the current setup and see what they report back with. Hopefully all is good. I don't think that's a better time than last time, is it? And they're on medium tires too, so it's the clear when it's soft he is. So we're not actually that far off being off the leader with mediums. So let's see what the setup is like here. I'll have an update on balance when you can. For me it felt very good. Better than good. Copy that. It's better than good. It's very good now. So I wonder what his driver conference is going to be like. We'll see when they come in. We'll let them do their uh, the laps and we'll get them in and see what... Um, See what the confidence settings at, or confidence percentage. How's the balance? How was the balance? Uh, much well, it's better, better. it's much better. Okay, it's yeah, better copy. than last time. So, we've got about 8 kilos of fuel left to burn. We'll get them in and we'll, we'll see exactly what needs uh, some improvement. Ideally, we want to skip FP3. I don't particularly want to do an FP3. Sometimes it's necessary if you can't get the setup right, but hopefully we can nail it in this session. So one more lap and Fernando should be in. Okay, let's have a look. So let's have a look at Fernando's setting. So everything's great, 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 good. I'm not sure how we can change this anymore. Driver satisfaction, 85%. So, there's not much else we can do with this. I'm half tempted, unless we could change like, the front wing down a little bit, like that. Can we change the rear wing? No, not really. So we can change, yeah, let's change that. We'll put some new tires on. Need to be careful how many Sauce we use, so it seems Stroll has a better, a better setup at the moment. So I can put that down there. Can we, can we do anything with this? Brake stability. So we could try that and see how we feel with that. <clears throat> Little minor setup changes. Um, it gets difficult when it gets to this point because there's not much you can really change. I mean, if there is a way to get 100%, I don't know about it. <laughs> so I, I like to get up near 90%, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, Londo takes a P2. So we'll let him dance around here for about half an hour. Uh, I mean, not real time, like game time. We'll let him drive around here. Um, bit constru um, con oh no, bit concerned with Stroll being sixth. Hamilton just put in a hell of a lap as well. Okay. 
So our main contenders is a Ferrari, Red Bull, Mercedes. I don't think McLaren are going to do much because when, well, when I was playing as Williams on my last game, they were pretty rubbish. They were pretty inconsistent. Though. Well, no, no, it wasn't even an inconsistency. They were consistent of being outside of P10. And even as Williams, even with the one point, we still we still get ahead of them. So we're about to find out exactly what setups these guys are going to be running. And that, then determines what we're going to do with FP3. So we've got 89% on Fernando. I think that'll do. I don't think there's much else we can we can change. So we'll leave Fernando. We'll leave Fernando and we will just um, we'll just let the AI manage FP3. Then we can jump straight into qualifying. And get a decent qualifying session going and then the race. And we'll see exactly where we come. We're not going to be watching the whole race from like a first person perspective. We will be fast forward in the race. So, did we... I think we'll have to... Re oh no. We'll just leave, we'll leave Stroll as well, let's get him back out. I'm not messing around with the settings, uh, the setup too much. But again, like, FP3, the AI can brush up on sort of the, some of the stuff that we've missed, some of the little tweaks. I like, I like FP3 for the AI to then do, just make little improvements. Check the flag. I mean, P5 and 6. It could have been a little bit better, but we didn't. We didn't do any push laps. We didn't use the ER, um, ERS at all. So we'll continue. Continue. So let's simulate the session. Okay. Let's continue. Continue again. So now they're around 90%, 91% uh, set up satisfaction. So we should be able to go into qualifying and actually well, hopefully do okay. Both are in the top 10, both to Q3. There's tension in the air today, so it must be time for qualifying. It is time for qualifying. Bahrain's track Roughly, is dusty go. and abrasive. And even under the floodlights, qualifying is tough on soft tires. Teams will need to use their tyre allocations wisely. There's been a bit of talk about Alex Albon, Karim. How are things looking for him today? Looking at the lap times, we saw a real lack of pace from them in practice. Oh they never looked quite comfortable with the setup, and they'll need to try something new for qualifying if they want to get past Q1. They will. Strap yourselves in. This is Formula One. Let's go. So Q1, let's let's manage Q1. So we'll manage qualifying one. So um, we will wait a bit until some other cars go out. We'll quickly get ready with the. So when we start seeing uh, players or players drivers coming out of the. Building. Okay, should be green now. We'll start sending our guys up. So Albon's gone out early to try and... don't know what he's trying. Zoe's going out. So I think as soon as we start seeing Max and stuff go out, we'll send our cars out. So we'll send Alonso out first. What time is it? There we go, there's Leclerc. There's De Vries. That's who we're racing against, really, is Leclerc. So let's go time 16. We'll leave it um, in automatic control. What are we going to get? P3? We're P3 at the moment. Stroll on P1, okay. I didn't see that coming. So I'll be coming back in. Alonso P10. I think Stroll might be safe. I think we need to get Alonso back up. Oh. 
now we get an Xbox notifications. Go away. So let's send. So I will go up to one thirty. See the ones right now. See if we can get out of the uh, relegation zone. So that is checkered flag, but you can yep, keep the checkered flags in. Let's get over the line. There we go, that's better. Turn to Q2 we go, in 4th and 5th. So Q2. Alright, 5 and 6th. 5th and 6th. 5th and 6th. Um, let's go to qualifying. We've managed qualifying two as well. So let's let a few of the other cars get onto the track two, first. One, we'll get Alonso out before Stroll. Let's get these two out. What kind of lap to put in? I haven't been in Q3 for ages. Currently P2. P2. Okay, laps on target. Stroll into P7. So I think Alonso might be safe if we need to get Stroll back out. Ideally we want both cars into Q3, that'd be very nice. Even for valuable points. P8. P8. Cool the car. Okay. I don't think anyone in the bottom five are gonna do any better. Nice, both cars are into Q3. That's one of our objectives completed that we uh, assigned. Very good in terms of performance, Q4 and Q8. So we'll manage this one as well. Manage Q3. Five, four, three, two, one. Should be green. Get them both out now before the. Oh, I made a mistake. Uh, come on, stroll. I made a mistake. Again! Come on, bro! Apparently, P6. P2 so Alonso. Cool as much as you can. Yeah. That's currently P2. Currently, P2. Let's get him back in. Should we configure? We're gonna get some fresh softs on. So we'll reconfigure lands, so we'll put some better tires on. We'll get them both back out now before the traffic absolutely well, it will be wrapped up. Come on, make us proud. Check the flag is now. Fourth and fifth. Uh, fourth and safe. Okay, we'll take that. That's a good starting place that we can work with there. Um, continue. So now it's time for the well, race. there's nothing quite like it. Welcome along to race day. Bahrain has seen some of the most dramatic races in F1, like Sergio Perez's incredible 2020 victory, surging ahead from being last on the opening lap. The sky tonight is mostly clear, with only a few clouds. Nothing to worry about for now, but let's see how the situation unfolds. Yeah, let's see. But which team has perfected the strategy that will see them prevail here at the Bahrain Grand Prix? So now we get to take a look into strategies. What strategy we're going to use throughout the race? So let's continue. 
So we want something that we can push with. I want to be pushing a lot to try and get to P1, P2 with these two. So, I mean, with Alonso it might not be too bad, but I know with Stroll. So it is a free stop race. So what's that showing? So we can push more with the B strategy. It's like second difference between them. So I think we're going to put both drivers on the medium strategy first. Just so we can push on all three stints. So we want both drivers to be absolutely pushing off the line. So we want, yep, DRS. No, not DRS. ERS deployed, that's what we want. We want the same with Nando deployed. So let's start the race. We'll watch the first part, we'll watch the first corner and see Here how we get Here is the the floodlights are on and it's nearly time for 57 laps around the Bahrain International Circuit. Let's do it. Let's go. A chance to see just what Charles Leclerc can achieve here. Yeah, it's a P5 start. The podium's in sight, but there's a lot standing in their way. Hmm. But just what there will happen here, Nando's your way. guess is as good as mine. And this is it. The Bahrain Grand Prix. Let's go. Good luck, everyone. We're right behind each other, too. And it's lights out. And away we go. Oh, the better size of Ferrari, to be honest with you. Come on, come on, you got this. Okay. Lonzo back up to four. Stroll is still sick. Come on, P3. Let's get the podium place at least. I want to run that fuel down to about one kilo exactly. I'm going to keep that on the tire temperature too throughout the course of this race. Speed it up to number two. Is that what happens? We're currently what three, three temps back, four temps. That's free. We need some DRS enabled. And then Verstappen's starting to pull away a bit now. So so we'll put these back down to a standard. Standard wear on the tyres, make sure I'm not getting too hot. Oh god. Just uh, brush my microphone there, eh? sorry about that. Um, so what strategy are the other guys on? So they're all on softs, so they'll be pitting way before us. Maybe ideally we should be looking after these tyres, especially considering we're not really, we're not really catching them. Now we're outside of DRS range, just. So we've almost burnt the required fuel. Hopefully we have uh, we have Carlos in this next sector. To charge it, or is it? No, almost had him. Come on, Nando, get him. Let's go. So we're almost at a kilo's worth of fuel now. Here we go. No, it was too far. So let's go back to balanced fuel load. So the pit stop should be quite interesting. We'll see if we can maybe 
Do we keep on the standard tire run? I think we do. I mean, the wear is very good right now, 92 and lap 4. So let's maybe go like to 8 times. So Leclerc just overtook Alonso. I mean, we're not pushing right now. They're on a different strategy. They're on. Yeah, Lots they're going on the soft. So we need to maybe do some light. Back off now. Okay. Let's go time 16. All four tyres looking on the hot side. The tyres are getting very hot as well. Copy. So as long as we don't get overtaken by Russell, etc., we should be okay. Can we need to try and look after these tyres just to go a bit longer on them. I mean, we're like keeping up with Leclerc too, so we must be... I mean, the tyres are on the decent side right now of Cooked. So we're actually pulling away from Russell, we're still within a second of Leclerc, they all need to pit very soon, but the tyres on 60% Ours are only on 80 If ours are on 80 and they're on, they're on 60 So we can go for a lot longer than them When they pit, that's our time to then to then floor it. We'll start getting some power down, we'll use some more fuel, try and get those lap times up a bit. Ready for the next stint of two softs. So I think towards the end of the race we might be in a better position than these guys. So they're all in the pit. There we go, we, we, we move up now. Don't think Leclerc is pit, no. Nope. Our tyres are still at 70%, so let's, let's start being a bit more aggressive now if we're within the pit window. So let's go full attack. We'll, we'll push. So we think you can use the tyres a little bit more generally. Copy. So we're up in P3 now. Perez is catching us in the Red Bull. So what do we do here? Do we open up pit options? One sec, let's pause it for a second. And we will check our tyre wear. I mean, we're still on 50%. We've still got like a lot of these... A lot of tyres left. The Claire for some reason, is on 37% tyres, so I think he's going to drop right out. Typical Ferrari strategy from this guy. Um, Charles has used 55% of his tyres. So I think we need to... We need to keep an eye on Charles. See what Charles is doing. They're at the peak now. Yeah. So I'm happy to let these guys cool a bit. Okay. Back off. Copy. We'll lose in time. So let's let's make a pit option. Let's so are our tires still on? Like is this a yellow fly? Is a safety car? No. Back in 
So let's watch this for a second, just while we make a quick plan. So we've got Ferrari just in front of us. So we've kind of ruined our strategy, so we need to kind of make a new one in a second. We do this, there we go. Edit strategy. No, we don't want to do a one stop. Add new stint. So, we want a soft tyre here, we want this one, so that's the best place to do to stop, so we'll save that. We'll edit the one stop. Put a new strategy and add a new stint. And we want to go back to softs. And we'll go there for Nando. Create strategy A. We'll go to strategy A. Now, let's get some pushing done. Happy to push. Copy. Push so the tires. off a bit of time here. Yeah. So what is everyone else on? Everyone else is back on softs. Two softs are the freshest hours. So by the end of the race, we should hopefully have fresh tires and be able to push more. Let's fast forward this a bit more. So the plan here is to get back to uh, ideally P4. Get Charles. But I don't know if we absolutely fudged up the uh, the pit stop and because we didn't follow it, we're not gonna be in a decent position to get it back. Second interval to Saints. Shaw can't really do much. This isn't going to be good because Mercedes are going to score more points on us if we if we fudge this up. I and mean, I don't know what, what strategy are they on. We're about to add in Mercedes, Lewis, and George. They're quite quite a bit into their stint. This track is very hot. I can't remember it being like this on 22. The track is so cool. warm for these tyres. Yeah. Which I suppose is more realistic because they had, I think they had issues this year in that actual F1. So. Let's see what Fernando can do. Standard again. A little bit of push in. Now we're starting to actually know some real time up here, we're not just second off in the last couple of laps. Second in a bit, so hopefully we catch up with Saints. Pit window already. God damn. Okay. So let's get these new tires on. Options, let's get the softs on. We'll be boxing at the end of this lap. 15 laps to yeah, go. Box. Issue. Now I think this, yes, it's Carlos Sainz. B 
Copy, copy. So that's about it now. Uh, we're gonna come. We're gonna get P6. Russell's behind troll. We just got P4. So let's try and get as many places as possible. I'm trying not to get overtaken. So we need stroll. So let's slow this down a bit. We need stroll ideally to get Hamilton. behind us now. Come on Stroll. Maybe Alonso to stay where he is, P4 where we started, Verstappen's just in front of us and Leclerc. Slow down. Copy. Come on, Stroll, make us proud. We've got six laps to go. So we'll watch the last lap. We need to decide what kind of format we're doing this in, because if you can't see it for a whole race, and just watch a whole race, it's like a lot of time. So hopefully, Stroll manages to keep a gap on Hamilton, which I think he is. Uh, Alonso seems to be doing okay in P4. There's lap cars behind him. Stroll's pulling half a second on Hamilton now, depending on what sector it is, I think. Oh, come on, Stroll, you keep that, keep that thing, come on. Keep that gap. One's actually starting to catch the clear. So we've got three laps to go. Let's start pushing, let's start getting really aggressive on these tyres now. We're not okay on fuel. Copy. Let's tune into the final lap. Alonso's doing fine. He's not catching no one. He's not getting caught by anyone. Saints is actually like almost 23 seconds behind him. So I'm not. I'm not sure what happened there with those with Ferrari. Come on, Stroll. Last lap. Bring, on, bring those points home, dog, come on! Oh, this is going to be so tense. So let's try and manage him here. Let's... So we want to get the deploy. Let's, let's deploy on the... Oh no, we can defend. Hey, top up, there's no defend anymore? Okay. They've changed that. Yeah, we need to deploy this... Uh, Come on, Stroll. You got this. Bring home the points. Bring home to Big Daddy Stroll. Let's go. Come on. Perez has crossed the line first. I think we got this. Hamilton's a second behind him. So I don't think Hamilton's going to get the, um, the DRS unless he catches up a bit here. A bit. Need to focus on getting the pack up. Nah, we'll just leave it on deploy. Let's go. Use it as you dance. I think no we've got this, guys. Car retired. Oh, did we run out of fuel? Oh, son of a bitch. What? Guys. What? Are you... Are you joking right now? You actually joking? That is... That tragic, it's not even funny. Oh, we should get... Day. I didn't keep an eye on it, guys. They'll be very disappointed to have had their race end early. No Absolute disaster, man. To happen. 
but now they just have to look forward. <laughs> And onto the podium goes you couldn't actually made another dive. That's not even planned. What the actual? What? Their first win of the season, and the team looking on will be Check very proud won as well. Him. Son of a gun! That is and actually unbelievable. I can't believe. Here at the Bahrain Grand Prix. Both of our cars broke down like a hundred meters away from the the finish line. Are you joking? That is unreal. Karoon, with the garages full of activity, what's the mood like down at Aston Martin now? It's yeah, not it's sour. This weekend, both drivers need to step up and show what they can do. It's not, it's not even and drivers, it's me. To be there to support them. I like Hamilton just scoots and that around. Is and about that <laughs> for this weekend's action here in Bahrain. Oh, in the next round, we this head is not the taking a good start, guys. Formula Honestly, One to Jeddah for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Actually, tragic. Oh man, that is unreal. Two DNFs. Oh. I don't want to talk it. We'd literally be fifth and sixth in the Drivers' Championship now. And we'd literally be like third in the Constructors. Oh, we got some catching up to do now. Unreal. Aston Martin, we've got eight points for the DHL fastest pit stop. We got the fastest pit stop in the race. We were just under Red Bull. So well, that's actually not too bad. Pit stop issue as well for Lance, which didn't help. We would have got a lot higher. Unreal. Race 11th, race 12th. That's actually not even. It's not even funny. Minus 36,000. That's obviously for the objective where we guaranteed a race position and we didn't get it. So the board are not going to be very happy with us. Let's have a look. Low morale. Of course there's low morale. We just absolutely binned it. The whole team, the pit stops were bad. The fuel management was bad and that's completely on me. We've got more wind tunnel hours so we can go make some more parts. Ah oh, man. So let's quickly before we end, we've got car parts development. There's no engineers available anyway, so we'll have to wait. So we've got 11 days and 17 days, and I'm pretty sure, is that before Saudi? Yes, we get one of our upgrades for Saudi Arabia, Jeddah. So I think we'll end it there, guys. Uh, what a tragic first race. It's not what we wanted, ideally, but do you know what? Next race I'm feeling quite optimistic with this car, so hopefully we, we place well and we finish well. Right? Okay guys, we'll leave it there. Until next time. Peace!